Hello everyone. Today, I want to talk about reading text in games, and I could really use some feedback on this because I don't really know what to do. So let me explain what's going on. Okay, this is, what you're looking at right now is from Analog A Hate Story. It's made by Christine Love. Okay, so years ago I played one of Christine Love's earlier games called Digital A Love Story, and I loved it. And recently, I remembered that I loved it, went back and, you know, checked to see what she's done since. And, well, here's Analog A Hate Story. So I really want to play it, but I ran into a problem. I realized that doing a Let's Play of it would be extremely difficult and or awkward because of all of the reading. It has no voice acting. So let me explain. I have... I've been confused about reading text in Let's Plays for a while now. I think it's one of the weakest, uh, I think it's one of the hardest things to deal with in Let's Plays, in my opinion, because there's, I don't think there's really a good way to deal with it. So I think what I used to do in the past, if I remember right, is that I wouldn't... I think I wouldn't read text from, like, notes and stuff. I would just read it and then hope you read it fast enough, I guess. Which is totally terrible, obviously, because people have totally different reading speeds, so that doesn't work at all. So that's one way that you can read text. Just don't read it and hope that the viewer can read as fast as you. Which I'm a fairly fast reader, so I'm guessing most people probably couldn't read it before I got rid of the notes. Or the dialogue, or whatever it was. So that's how I used to do it. Like in Richard and Alice, that's what I did. And that sucked. More recently, I've been reading everything dialogue and all notes which is definitely better than not reading anything however it also has its own share of problems namely uh, especially with reading a dialogue see when you don't have a voice and you're looking at dialogue you're just playing a game and there's no voices for the dialogue you have uh, you have a voice in your head maybe it's not of a particular type but you're you're reading the text and you're imagining these emotions and you know, you're putting all of this... You're building up your own interpretation of how the text was said, how the dialogue is said, because there's no voice. And if... When I read dialogue, the problem is that that your image of what that person's saying in the text is... Well, you can't make your own image. You're now relying on my voice, my interpretation of the dialogue. So I can kind of make my interpretation of the dialogue better by trying to kind of voice act so that it has some emotion to it. Because, you know, if I just read it very blandly, then the only interpretation of the text you're going to be left with is just the bland interpretation because you can't make your own because you're having it read to you. So I could try to voice act, but the problem with that is that, well, voice acting is hard, it's tiring, and I'm also worried that it might make me sound like I have multiple personalities if I'm constantly switching between characters and, you know, switching between this character and then maybe that character, and then switching back to myself to commentate. I don't know, it's really awkward. I've done a little bit of, like, light voice acting in the past couple of games that I've played when reading dialogue. I don't know, it's like halfway in between full voice acting and not voice acting. I don't know if that works. I don't know, I'm confused. But let me demonstrate a couple things and the problems I have with doing a Let's Play of this game. So this is the beginning of the game. Let me advance. I believe I'm activating an AI and now this is the AI and I'm talking to her. Okay. So let me show you a couple different ways I can do this. I can do this the old way, which I'm pretty sure is terrible, but please let me know which way you prefer. I'm definitely going to be taking feedback into consideration. It needs to work for me, but I also want it... I want to choose a method that works for me and works the best for the viewers. So I could just not read the text. So I could just advance. That's how fast I read, so if you can't keep up, then anyone who can't keep up is screwed. Okay, now let me go back. This is using the RenPy engine, so I can easily just use the scroll wheel to go back. There we go. Okay, another way I can do it. I can read all the text, but I can do it with basically no voice acting. You know, hello. Oh my word, an external connection is someone out there. It's been so many years since I've spoken to anyone. I can read it like a robot with no emotion. 
Now, this is my current favorite method, although it is kind of awkward. I could attempt to sort of voice act it. So I could read it and t try to voice act it. So, hello? Oh my word, an external connection. Is someone out there? It's been so many years since I've spoken to anyone. Oh jeez, I'm being discourteous. My apologies, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is... Okay, and now we run into another problem. This game has a bunch of names that I can't pronounce because I'm absolutely terrible at pronouncing any sort of a... Actually, I'm kind of, in general, pretty bad at pronouncing stuff, but I'm especially bad at pronouncing foreign names. Like, wh what do I read for that? How do you pronounce that? Keep in mind, I'm going to be encountering these complex names constantly in this game. Because all you do in the entire game is reading notes and talking to people and so on. My name is Hyun A. Honey? Hun I? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. So those are my two major problems with doing a Let's Play of this game. I don't know what is the best, best method for reading text. I don't think there is a good method, but the question is what's the best? And also, I'm gonna fumble all the names. So that, between those two things, it makes doing a Let's Play of this game super, super awkward. I guess I could just, like, skip over every name. My name is something something, and I guess you could just read it. Uh, I don't know. Fumbling over every single character's names would just be... It'd be embarrassing. So, yes. So, tell me what you think. I'm... Personally, I feel like the best way is to read all the text and attempt to voice act. And just try to get into it as much as possible. But, I mean, the problem is with that is, if I ever hit something really, really emotional... Like someone's screaming, or, you know, someone's crying because their loved one just died or something like that... I'm not... I'm not gonna be able to voice act well enough to really do that any sort of justice. I, I wouldn't be able to. So if something like that ever happens, it's gonna be really awkward. So... Yeah, that's my current... That's what I think is probably the best way to go. I don't think there's any good ways, but I think that's the best. Attempt to voice act and read everything. And as for the names, I guess skipping over them, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, yes. Uh, let me know what you think. What do you prefer? Any thoughts? Anything I could do? I mean, I can't think of much else that I can do. It's Isn't it basically, don't read the text, do read the text, but don't voice act, or do read the text and voice act? I mean, I think that's basically my three options. But yes, let me know, and thank you for listening.